Hello everyone. So for today's video, I have a very, very, very exciting announcement. I literally cannot believe that I'm finally able to share this with you guys because this has been, it started, the whole process started in October of 2022. So it has been, I've been keeping this secret for a long time. It's something I've been working on for a long time and it's finally here and the announcement is that i have designed a necklace with the jewelry company anna luisa and it is available today i am wearing it now as you can see it's a cute little heart with a little starburst in the center and i'm gonna share with you guys like the whole process how i designed it my thought process behind everything how everything kind of came together it, it was very very fun i loved loved designing something and then seeing it come to life because you guys know i i tend to um have a lot of ideas and really terrible follow-through but with something like this because there was a team behind me i was able to actually bring my vision to life and hold it in my hands and it was such a rewarding and amazing process and i'm just so excited that it's available today so this whole thing started like i said back in october 2022 when i got an email from anna luisa which by the way if you guys are unfamiliar with Anna Luisa they carry the most beautiful quality yet fairly priced sustainable jewelry if you haven't checked them out you got to check them out I do suggest buying my necklace but <laughs> they have other really really nice pieces as well anyway so I got the email from them and I freaked out because I had seen a few of their other collaborations with some creators that I really admire and they turned out so nice. So it was like an immediate yes for me. I was like, absolutely, this would be a dream. I'm so honored that you want to partner with me. Let's do it. The whole process was just so fun. Like the entire process, all of the meetings, all of the design, like I gave a lot of presentations and notes, which I'll share with you guys in a little bit. But the whole thing was just so fun and it just brings us to this moment today where it is available on the site. Here it is, I will share it with you guys. So I chose to design a heart-shaped pendant that's quite thick. I wanted it to almost be kind of like a coin, like imagine like a nickel where it has this little lip and it's very heavy. I wanted it to have this kind of coin-like quality. And then the coolest thing about this design, in my opinion, is this like sunburst detailing where it's actually engraved. And the way that this catches the light is very, very beautiful. I am obsessed. And it took us quite a long time to get this right. <laughs> The vision was so clear in my head. We kind of went back and forth over the the different Layers or like the leveling of how this would be engraved and It just turned out perfect and then in the center There's a little starburst in a very very little tiny uh, cubic zirconia So pretty I am so pleased with how this turned out. I wanted to design something that I could wear with any outfit, whether it be casual or a little bit more feminine and dressy. I wanted a new everyday necklace because for the most part, I've worn the same like few necklaces for the past like 10 years of my life. I tend to find a piece that I like and cling to it. So I wanted a new everyday piece that I could cling to for the next like, I don't know, 10 years. And this is it. You guys are going to see me wearing this just like nonstop for the next foreseeable future, really. So if you guys are interested in purchasing, there's no pressure. But of course, if you want to support, if you like the piece, it would mean the world to me. I just want to stress to you guys that you absolutely need to use my link in the description because that is the only way I see any sort of profit from my design. So if you just go on the website and you buy it, I won't get anything. You have to use my link in order for me to get a cut of the profit. So please, please, please use my link. If you share it, please share my link. Uh, I would really, really appreciate it. And actually, Ana Luisa has so kindly offered a very, very big discount for the first week of my launch. So if you use code Kalel30, you can actually get 30% off 
which is a very fat discount so if you're gonna get it please take advantage of the discount also the timing is really great with valentine's day right around the corner so either you can get it as a gift for yourself you can send a link to your boyfriend say you want it i don't know i feel like it's very appropriate for valentine's day too because it's a cute little heart just saying but okay that's it for my sales pitch let's get into talking about the design process because this was something that was so new to me so fun and you guys know what a crazy perfectionist i am and to be honest with you when i first started having meetings with the anna luisa team i was like these people are gonna kill me they're gonna kill me they don't know who they just partnered up with because I have very, very high standards and I will, I'll have notes for days. Like I'm not the kind of person that will just be like, hmm, good enough. No, no, no. If the tiniest thing is off to me, you'll be hearing about it. Like I'm not going to let it slide. So there were many moments where I was like, I think this team low-key hates me, but they were so nice, so professional. They really put up with my ass, I have to say. <laughs> So I'm very grateful. Thank you, Anna Luisa team, if you're watching this. I'm so sorry that I was a little bit of a monster, but in the end, we made it work. We produced a perfect piece and I'm so, so, so happy with it. So in the very beginning, they asked me to submit just like any ideas, like what's in my head? What would I possibly wanna make? They told me I could send like a, a mood board or I could do some sketches or whatever. And I just sketched this very simple, this was my starting point, right? I knew I wanted a heart-shaped pendant and I knew I wanted these little like radiating engraved shine lines. However, originally in the center, I had a crystal flower. I thought that was the direction I wanted to go. I only later changed it to a star because I thought it makes more sense for the shine lines to be radiating from a star versus a flower. I drew a second option as well, which was like this rose, this rectangular rose pendant. And then we had a meeting, we had a Zoom meeting where I was able to talk with their designer directly. We kind of weighed out the options. Do we go with the heart? Do we go with the rose pendant? And they, for the most part, was like, yeah, absolutely the heart pendant. So we went that direction. So it was at this point that I decided to change the flower to a starburst. And I ended up drawing three different options for how I thought this could look. I couldn't decide, did I want the outline to just be basic or like a little bit higher at the top or i also thought about doing like a beaded edge so i gave them those three options and we ended up agreeing on just like the simple classic edge so i sent them a little presentation you guys know me i love building a presentation i send them a presentation with like inspiration from the necklaces that i wear or like images online of how i wanted the engraved lines to look it was very very fun i was like yes i am in my element putting together these little presentations and we sent presentations back and forth for like a couple months one thing we really deliberated on is how many of the little like shine lines should there be should they be like packed tight or should they be a little bit more loose ultimately i decided i wanted them to be packed tight because i thought it would catch the most light and that was really the whole idea behind doing the engraved lines is i want like as your body turns for it to catch the light so we decided to do quite a few the next and biggest dilemma was the varying depth levels if that makes sense so when you look at the necklace there's there's a lot of different depth levels so you have like the bottom of the engraved lines the top of the engraved lines the bottom of the initial starburst the top of the initial starburst and there's another engraved line inside and then there's the bottom of where the cubic zirconia sits and then there's also the lip it was it was a lot and it was very hard like i wish i was able to uh make like a digital rendering it would have been so much easier instead i just kept sending them these crazy notes where i was like no 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 so the bottom of the shine lines needs to be level with the da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it was a bit excessive and it took a few times of going back and forth before we finally got it right but then i was so happy that we finally got it right the next thing that we struggled with was the size of the pendant now my crazy ass i really wanted to get this right this was very 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 important to me i literally printed out 
at all different sizes little uh like the heart i printed it out i cut them out and i taped it on a chain and i would wear them around my house and i would look in the mirror and i'd be like mm, a little bit too small mm, a little bit too big and i deliberated for weeks over the size you guys it was very very important to me that it was like not too big not too small the Ana Luisa team actually really wanted it to be smaller because for the most part, they specialize in very dainty jewelry. But I was like comparing it to the pendants that I wear most. And I was like, I tend to like this size pendant. I think it looks so good with a bodysuit. Yes, I like dainty jewelry too, but I like kind of a more bold pendant. So I went with this size. I was very happy with my experimentation. I was very glad that I did that because I didn't want them to have to sample it again because every time you sample it, it's like a thousand dollars or something. And I think I was only allowed one to two samples. So I didn't want to waste one on the size. I really wanted to make sure I got it right. But then once we finalized the rendering, I had to wait, I want to say like two months before they sent me the first sample. And I was so, so, so excited to get this sample. But I knew, being the perfectionist I am, no matter how great they are, I knew that I wasn't gonna be happy with the first one. And so I sat there, I wish I had the footage still. I did record it at the time, but I lost it. Um, I sat there so scared to open it because I was like, I wanna love it so bad. And I wanted to just tell them like, this is it but i know i'm gonna have notes so i opened it and immediately the first thing that i noticed that i didn't like was that you guys know how i was saying i wanted it to be like a coin right so it's kind of fat she's kind of like thick and heavy well for some reason on the first sample it actually kind of tapered down and so it didn't have that coin feel it had just like it tapered which honestly may have been nice because it may have made it lay a little bit more like slanted in which could have been nice but i wanted the coin vibe i wanted it to have weight i wanted that thick edge um, the other problem that it had was this little connector piece i can't think of what this is called right now this connector piece was not bonded and so it kept kind of like flipping upside down so I didn't have too many notes. My only notes were to make sure that the thickness stays the same all the way down like a coin and to bond this little top piece. So they made all the changes and again, another waiting game. The piece came, I loved it, it was perfect. However, there was this voice in the back of my head that was like, hmm, what if it was a little like aged? I feel like it's a bit shiny, right? Like, she's a bit shiny, which I love, but in my head I was like, what if it was a little bit worn in? I kind of love that vibe, right? So we went back and forth. I was like, can you guys make it look worn in? I literally took my second sample, which is the one I'm wearing here, and I dusted a little bit of brown eyeshadow into the lines just to like bring out the details more. And I really liked that. And I wanted them to see if they could recreate that. And they tried, but ultimately it didn't really turn out how we wanted it to. So we we're like, okay, scratch that. We're not gonna go that we're not gonna go there. But ugh, I can't believe it's here. I'm literally so so excited to share this with you guys. So again, if you guys are interested, be sure to use the link in my description. Be sure to take advantage of the 30% off discount using code Kalel30. And if you get it, please tag me on Instagram. I want to see how you style it. Um, please leave a review. It would mean so much to me if you could leave a review saying that you think it's perfect and beautiful and you're, wear you're wearing it every day and the quality and just, yeah, if you could leave a review, that would make me really happy as well. But... I also just want to take a moment to really thank you guys because I know it's cheesy, I know it's cliche when influencers say this shit, but really you're the reason that I was able to do something really cool like this and I feel like it kind of like flipped a switch in my brain of, of, of feeling like, you know what, you can design something and bring it to life when you have a team behind you and it made me want to do more of that it made me want to, to design and create and try to find a team and bring something to life outside of my sketchbook you know it was just so magical and so fun so i really appreciate you guys and the fact that you've stuck around and the fact that i 
am able to do something cool like this because of you. Um, even if you don't end up buying the necklace, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for the support. There's, like I said, there's no pressure at all. If you like it, cool, you can buy it. But uh, you guys will see me wearing it for, like I said, the next few years. So if you ever see it and you're curious where it's from, I will always have the link in the description. You can buy it later um or add it to your wish list or whatever but okay i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching i will see you guys soon bye